today and for you to see us wherever you may be. It is good to be with you. We're gonna have some fun today, aren't we? We are gonna we have are. fun. We we're, we're just fun people. Yeah. Basically. Um, yeah, but we are gonna have some games. We are gonna have a story, mm. uh, and we're gonna have a thought. Mm. Okay, so jam packed of funness. Jam packed of fun. Yes. It's Shall be good. we uh, start some fun with a game? Always love that. Are you game for a game? That sounds yeah. really weird. Game for a game, too many games. Let's just play a game. <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to play the game Corners. So we are what? going to number this room. Okay. And you're going to number your room. Okay. So up here, this is number one. So one corner of your room is going to be number one. Look at the corner, say one. 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 Then the next corner is going to be number two. Say two. Two. Find the corner that in one. your room that is number two. So we've got one, we've got two, then we're going to go three. So find the corner in your room that is number three. Point to it and say three. three. And then find the corner number four down here. That is number four in your room. So have a look at your room. One, two, three, four. Make sure you remember what they are. You are going to have a little boogie, have a dance around. You can run around in circles if you want to. And then when the music stops, you okay. need to find a corner. Okay. So for them, they'll find a corner in their room. Yeah. For you, yeah. you will point to one of the corners. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, how yeah. is this going to work? You can't really jump up there. No. It's not a good idea. No. Okay, you ready? I am ready. They're probably ready because they're great at games. They are. They're you ready? ready? Get dancing! <laughs> Find a corner. Okay, go and find a corner, Emily. Choose your corner. <clears throat> What's it gonna be? Which one is it? Okay. And the corner is two. So if you were in corner two, uh, this was a practice, so it doesn't count, but you would have to do 10 star jumps to get back in the game. Okay, but that one was a practice. Do you get it? I forgot what the numbers of the corners were, to be honest. Well, that one was three. Oh. Great. So, uh, you would have been in anyway, so that's fine. Okay, are you ready? And off we go. Stop! Find a corner. Okay, which one's she gonna go for this time? Okay, the corner is four. Ooh. Okay, so you chose number two, so you're okay. I'm okay, I'm Ooh. okay. If you chose number four, ten star jumps to get back in the game. I'm ready to dance. Let's go again. Off you go. And stop. Find a corner. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Okay, it is one. Oh, Emily, yeah. 10 star jumps to get back in the game. Okay, if you need to do 10 star jumps, do them now. Ha ha. Done. Done. Nice one. Thanks. Good job. Okay, are you ready for another? Yeah, bit more dancing. Off you go. Find a corner. Okay, find the corner that you want. Which one's Emily gonna go for? That one. Three. Well done, you're still in because that, that was four. Nice one. If you pick number three, you need to do 10 star jumps to get it back Ooh. in the game. And this is gonna be the last round. Okay. Are you ready? I am. Bit more Always. dancing. Yep. Last time. Give it all you've got. Best dancing. Go! And stop. 
find a corner. Okay, last time. Okay. If you've done them all right so far, see if you can get this last one. Ooh. Okay. It is number four. Oh, yes. Well done, Emily. If you got number four, 10 star jumps to finish off. Off you go. Well done. Oh, good job. I only had to do 10. True. You only, only got one one run. Yeah. To be fair. I'm well dropped. I'm just picking them out of a bowl, so <laughs> there's nothing to determine whether you're going to get it right or not. It's okay. just how it is. Well, well done, everyone. Hopefully, you've got moving a little bit. Hey, actually, I like that game. That was fun, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was good. Good game, that, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right, um, well, I, I've joined you because I am going to read the uh, the Bible story today. Yes! I am reading the story from, of course, Bob Hartman's Rhyming Bible. Lovely. It's, it's a pretty good one, actually. I really like these stories. I think you'll I'm enjoy I'm looking this forward one. to listening to this All one. All right, you go, you go take a seat and, okay. and listen in. Right. Okay, so this story is called One Friend, Two Friends, Three Friends, Four. Let's start. One friend, two friend, three friends, four. Climb on a roof and there they talk. A hole as big as a man and more to lower their fifth friend on the floor. Jesus was teaching in that place the house was full, there was no space. And you should have seen the owner's face when his roof disappeared without a trace. The four men then apologised. Our friend can't move, he's paralysed. But we think that if Jesus tries, he can make our friend arise. Your sins are forgiven. Jesus said as he looked at the man on his drop-down bed. But all four friends just scratched their heads. They thought he'd fix his legs instead. The priests were angry, bothered and hot. God alone forgives, they thought. And this man Jesus, God he's not. Then Jesus put them on the spot. Forgiving sins? That's hard to see. To prove that God has given me such power and authority, I'll set this poor man's body free. Rise and walk, he told the man. Then pick your bed up with your hand. And just like that, the man could stand and walk and run and jump and land. The four friends broke out in a cheer. One shed a happy little tear. The crowd praised God and called out clear. We've never seen anything like that here. One friend, two friends, three friends, four climbed on a roof and there they tore. A hole as big as a man and more to lower their fifth friend on the floor. Hey, what did you think of that then, Hattie? That was good. Yeah, it was a pretty good story. Yeah. Wasn't it? They were really good friends they to were do really that for friends. their fifth friends. Yeah. True. I, uh, I think we could learn a lot from that. I think we could. Yeah. Should we have a game? Though, yeah, I wonder. Could we do a game that's kind of a bit, you know, related to the story? Yeah, I wonder how good friends some of us are. Okay, I'm here, I've joined Emily and Hetty because I'm going to test their friendship. I'm going to put their friendship to the test. I'm going to ask them questions about each other and they're going to have to guess what each other's favourites are. Okay? Okay. So, first question. Hetty. Yeah. What is Emily's favourite colour? Okay. Mm. Emily, could you write down your favourite colour for us? Oh, yes. And we'll compare when Hetty's finished her guessing. Mm. Guess, guess, guess. Are we done? Yeah. We're done, we're done. Reveal! What have we got? Blue! 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 Yay! Yay! Mary 
good. Very I get good. a point. Okay, right, Emily. Okay. Over to you now. No pressure. Emily. Yeah. Please, can you write down for me what you think Hetty's favourite food is? Favourite food. Hetty, can you write your favourite food down, please? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, reveal. Thai curry, Thai green curry. It is specifically green, but um, I started writing curry instead of green, so <laughs> it came up as Thai curry. Okay, so she's right. right. She's right. Get well very done. Right. Okay, next question, Hetty. Yep. Please, can you write down for me what you think Emily's favourite month of the year is? Emily, please can you write down your favourite month? The clock is ticking. Who has a favourite month? I've got one. Well, she's written one down, <laughs> so you need to guess what it is, don't you? I'm, I'm going for a wild guess here. Oh, are you ready? Oh, are you yeah. ready? Okay, three, two, one, reveal. Oh, wow. July and August. I thought I that because of summer. Oh. And then I started just writing J instead of an A. <laughs> so then I went for July. Great. What a great excuse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Rubbish. Okay, next one. Um, Emily, please could you write down for me what you think Hetty's favourite movie is? Hetty's favourite film. Hetty, okay. can you write down your favourite film? Favourite movie? Mmm, I thought it might be that one. Watch this on the plane on the way to New York. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, reveal! Oh. Toy Story 4! No. Matilda. Matilda, it's Matilda, oh. sorry. Should we have a decider? Yeah, let's yeah. have a decider. Okay, let's have a decider. So, I'm going to say one thing for you both. Okay. okay. And so you've got to write down that thing for the other person, right, both right. of you. Okay. And then I'll ask you what it is before we reveal what mm -hmm. your real answer was. Okay, so, Hetty and Emily, please can you write on your piece of paper your friend's favourite sport? Okay, before you reveal, Emily, what is your favourite sport? Netball. Netball. Hetty. What is your favourite sport? Football. Football. Okay. Well, let's see if we guess correctly. Three, two, one, reveal! No. Football. Cycling. Cycling. You do like cycling. I do. I yeah. do like cycling. Oh. <sighs> well, it's I a shame. Give it a good go. But you got the answer wrong. Though, yeah, isn't it? again. And Emily is our winner! Well Thanks done. for Emily! This has got to be one of my favourite stories about friendship in the Bible. It's so random, it's amazing. Okay, and what I love to do with this passage is put myself into like other people's shoes. So the first person would be the friends, okay? Where they're like, yes, Jesus is in town, get in. We are taking you to Jesus because we've heard all these amazing things. You are going to get healed. Right, we're taking you. You've got no choice. And so then they carry him to the house and then they get to the house and they're like, oh, it's full. What are we going to do? We can't get through the door. How are we going to do this? We can't get through the door. Window. We'll see whether we can get him through the window. Oh, there's too many people. I can't get him through the window. And then you've got one bright friend that goes, the roof. We'll take him to the roof. Are you okay going on the roof? No, don't ask. Okay, roof. And so they take him to the roof and then they start like taking the roof to pieces and they're like, we're going to lower him down now. Okay, three, two, one. Letting him down. They're like, this is a great idea. Oh, he's quite heavy though, isn't he? He's quite heavy. And then the guy gets to the bottom of the house. Then I think about the guy, okay? And they, you know, the, the friends come up to him and goes, right, we're gonna take you to Jesus. Like, um, not today, maybe, maybe another time. It looks a little, it looks like it could be a little bit busy. 
And then they get to the house and he's like, it is busy, it is busy, another time, another time. We'll get to go another time. And they're like, well, we'll try and put you through the window. No, no, it's okay. No window, no window. And then the whole idea of the roof comes in and they're like, he's like, no, just plain no. Another day, we're not doing this. And they're like lowering him down. And he's like, if you drop me, you wait, I am going to get you. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, hello, Jesus. You know, once he's right in front of him. Then you've got Jesus, okay? And Jesus is giving this amazing teaching. He's annoying, lots of religious leaders. And then all of a sudden it's like, what's rubble? What's, what's going on? Like this. And all of a sudden this man's just lowered in front of him and he's like, what is going on? And this guy going, hi Jesus. And he's like, hi. And then you've got the guy that owns the house, who's like, Jesus is in his house giving teaching. He's like, look at me, he's decided to come to my house. I am the man. And then there's a massive hole in his roof. And he's like, what are you going to do about the hole in this roof? I love this story because the friends just weren't willing to give up to get their friends to Jesus. So we see the friendship of those four men taking their friends to Jesus. But then we see another friendship being built and that's between the guy and Jesus. Now, when I think of friendships, I actually have struggled with it for quite some time because I was bullied when I was younger. And so I didn't really have that many friends. But my mom used to say to me, Emily, if you can count like how many friends you've got on one hand, then you are extremely, extremely blessed. So I am extremely, extremely blessed. But then when I also think about friendship, there's a verse in the Bible, which actually is really important to me, which is Ecclesiastes 4 verse 12, which says, one standing alone is easily defeated. Two is stronger, but a three-stranded cord cannot be easily broken. Now, if we break this down, the first one means if you buy yourself, then actually that's not great. God created us to be in relationships, that created us to be in relationship with him, but also with other people. Two, when there's two of you together, it is stronger, okay? And you're gonna support each other the whole way through. But three means actually you've got yourself, your friends, and then God. And if God's in the middle of every friendship and relationship that we have, that means that it's the strongest friendship we can have. Now, Jesus says that we should have him in the center of everything and it means in our friendships too. So you may be given a friendship bracelet like I have, but actually what we need is more than just a bracelet. We need Jesus at the center. Okay, so what I want you to do prayer wise, is not just a one-off prayer. I want you to do it continuously. So like we were saying with Ecclesiastes 4 verse 12, talks about the strands. So one, easily defeated. Two is stronger, but a three-stranded cord cannot be easily broken. So I want you to make a friendship bracelet, okay? Really easy, and it just means that you put them together like that, and then you plait them all the way down. Because if it's just one, it's okay. If you put two together, actually, there's no pattern that happens with them. But when we've got three, means that we have this lovely, lovely pattern that goes all the way through. So what I want you to do is last week, I asked you to pray for someone that you could um, share the good news of Jesus. Now, I want that to be the same person on this, okay? So that you pray for your friendship that you have with that person, that God will be at the very, very center of it all. 
And do you know what? You just don't need one. Like I said, my mum said about how actually we have loads of close friendships. You could have like five, 10, 25 of these, okay? Meaning that you can pray for all of your friends every day. So we've had a great time with you. Um, it's clear to say that I know Hattie better than she knows me. So she's gonna have to swat up. I'm gonna have to try harder, Anna. Yes, you are. Like some of the answers I knew, like I knew your favorite film. It's Robin Hood. It is it Robin is. Hood. It is some of them, but not others. Oh well. So, uh, what have you learned today? I've learned that um, maybe I need to get to know you better. <laughs> um, but also, I've learned a bit about friendship. Mm. And that has helped me really think, and especially thinking about that friend that I thought of last week. Yeah. It was really helpful to link it all together. Mm. Great. Well, we will see you next time for loads of fun, games, and a thought. Mm. to keep you thinking throughout the week. Okay, see you soon. Bye! Bye.